Hey, all right, good morning. Well, I woke up today, it's a beautiful day. <laughs> the sun is shining, that means a lot more than you think. So, anyways, I asked him, uh, you know, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Please use me. Okay, and this is what he said. And this is really weird how this went about. I'm not going to get into it, but he he did give me a verse. He showed me clearly a verse that he wanted me to go over. And when I sat down and started going through it, he he walked me right through it perfectly. And uh, and I want to share it with you. It's so important, so important in these days, right? And it's uh, Job, actually. It's in Job 17.9. Job 17.9. And this is really weird what's going on with everything that's going on today, right? The separation of people, you know, like JK was talking about, right? We're being separated, people. We're being separated, okay? The sheep and the goats. The sheep obey the shepherd, the goats don't, right? Isn't that the way that goes? Yeah, okay. So, Job 17.9. I'll read it the way it is in most our Bibles. Um and then I'll read it the way the Holy Spirit showed it to me by using the Strong's Concordance and different definitions. He had me look up some definitions of words, all right, that I thought I knew, you know, pretty well, but he, there's other things he wanted to show me, all right? So here we go. Job 17, verse 9. The righteous also shall hold on his way, and he that hath clean hands shall be stronger and stronger. He that hath clean hands <laughs> shall be stronger and stronger. Okay. Short. Maybe you get it. Maybe you don't. But the Holy Spirit wanted me to go over this. So now I'm going to go over it the way he laid it out to me. Okay, this is Job 17.9. And this is the first time I'm reading through it after I wrote it. So, I think it's good. <laughs> uh, I know it is. So, here's what he wants you to, you to know. The righteous of God declare the word of God to cause the lost to turn and be justified and made clean by taking a hold by taking a hold of and settling in their heart and mind the course of life by taking the narrow path. By taking the narrow path that purifies by coming into agreement with God's Holy Spirit and proclaiming the power of Christ through his crucifixion and paying the debt of our sins to bring us into fellowship with himself through his death by yielding ourselves to him to turn us from death and separation from God to eternal life, strengthening us to proclaim his word through the indwelling of his Holy Spirit to bring forth and produce a yield, to produce fruit. That's what we're called to do, produce fruit. By being obstinate, and there's one of the uh, words he wanted me to look up, right? Obstinate, and I thought I knew what it meant, but he had me look it up for a reason. By being obstinate, which means refusing to change our mind or our chosen course of action, despite attempts to persuade us to do so. That's what obstinate means. And there's more to it. By the attempts... Me, oh, I gotta go back. What did that say? Yeah, to, by the attempts to persuade us to do so through an unwelcome phenomenon. What's going on in the world? An unwelcome phenomenon, <laughs> right? Through an unwelcome phenomenon, right? And, and, and he wanted me to look at that word too. And I thought I knew what that means, but I looked it up because he told me to. And phenomenon means... A remarkable event, okay, that is a person's perception 
And he, he kind of rephrased it for me here. He, he told me what to write right here. Phenomenon is a remarkable event that is a, person, a person's perception seen through their flesh, their carnal mind. It seems remarkable to them because they're seeing it through their own carnal, carnality. Okay. Okay. Through an unwelcome phenomenon or situation that is very difficult to change or overcome. That's being caught in a vessel and being blinded and separated from God by being born into death into this world. Death and condemnation. Unless you turn, repent, and turn back the other way, back to your Father who is in heaven, who calls us all. <laughs> there is no excuse. He calls us all uniquely by our own little walk, by our own journey, our own path that we've walked in this life. God has used many people, many events in your life to call you back to him. You are without excuse. You're without excuse. You have to make a choice. And time's running out. Are you a sheep? Or are you a goat? Are you a wheat? Or are you a tear? We're all being separated, right? Social distancing. Right on. <laughs> so what he wanted me to put out. I'm obeying and I'm putting it out there. Watch this again if you need to. Holy Spirit led me right through this. You can go through it yourselves, taking all the words back to the original language, uh, using the strongest concordance. But bear in mind, the Holy Spirit really told me exactly what to write. <laughs> and I could see it through the words in the strongest concordance. Well, the Holy Spirit saw it and told me what to write. That's more properly how to word that. So anyways, there's that. Love you all. God bless. It's a beautiful day out. There is no fear in Christ. There is no condemnation if you're in Christ. We've been set apart. We've been separated. We are his sheep that have went astray, but we've turned back to him and we follow him, the good shepherd. All right. Love you all. God bless. Have a great day. <laughs> uh, I know what we're going through is kind of, you know, it's crazy. But uh, don't freak out, man. Don't freak out. God's in control. God's in control of everything. What Satan means for evil, God means for good. God bless you. Love and respect everybody. Have a great day. Bye.